Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today, as you can see in the video that I uh, made, that I'm going to show you now, I counted to actually make sure that there were a thousand mealworms in here. So I'm going to feed exactly a thousand mealworms. Hi! Hi! Welcome to our channel. Hello. Hello. If you enjoy learning about reptiles and having a good laugh, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Hit. Smash it. Yes. Smash yes. it. Smash it right now. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Hit. Yes. Smash it. Smash. Okay. Smash. It's not like the other videos you see where they say a thousand mealworms versus like whatever, you know, because you didn't see them count it, right? They just bought them and they got a thing full of who knows how many. When I got this container, it said there were a thousand. There are like 1,500 in there. So, you know, that's not the truth. This is the truth. You saw me count it. You know it's real and authentic. A thousand mealworms versus all my geckos. Not all of them at the same time because we can't have them all biting each other, but I'm going to put in all my little girls at the same time because they should be okay. And once they're done going at it, then I'll start, you know, bringing the bigger ones, but we're going to hopefully have all thousand of these mealworms eaten right here. It's going to be amazing. We have prepared here the tub of doom. The ring light of, of beauty. We want it all up close and personal. These are basically my female holdbacks for the year. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Another one that's a little bit little. We'll see if she's okay in there. Okay, is everyone ready? Are we excited? Let's get ready to chew yummy things. Wow. This is actually, yeah, how exciting. And gecko number one is uh, starting to go at it. The others are wondering, what is this funny business? What is this? One is trying to escape. He's saying, no thank you. Wow. They are not showing the eagerness that I wanted them to. One is trying to go vegan. Said so, nope, no thank you. Why are they biting the carrot? There we go. Oh yes, they're starting to discover it really is food. It's edible. Let's get you out of the corner. Let's put you right there. Wow, look at all that. I'm here to make sure everyone is safe and uh, no, no one loses fingers or anything. Hey, 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 you leave that one alone. You just go and eat the books. I incubated for females, and uh, one of them came out as a male, so I actually kept him because he's the biggest. I'll show you him in a sec. I do not, like, feed my geckos a ton. I feed them every couple days. And um, they're kind of like my little side project. 
So my snakes are my number one and then my geckos are kind of like, I still like them a lot but I just, I don't understand the morphs and stuff as much. But if you look at this guy, he was born the same time as all of them but he's like almost double their size so I think he's going to be a super giant. I'm hoping that he'll eat and then they'll start eating. I think I might just take these carrots out because they're getting confused. Just have to make sure he doesn't start humping any of them or anything. Okay, get out of there. They're too young. If he starts wiggling his tail, I'll take him out. Go eat your bugs, okay? Leave the ladies alone. I feel so underappreciated. The amount of time that I spent picking out all these bugs for them and they're like kicking them away. It's very hurtful. I have now Pictus geckos, leopard geckos, and crested geckos. And I find that um, leopard geckos seem to be the smartest. I find crested geckos are after, and then I think Pictus geckos are just really dumb. But they're very cute. the girls alone. Okay, so anyways, no. You're done. This is my favorite boy. He is a white and yellow pet albino, so oh, he's beautiful. You might just try getting out instead of eating. They're too young. He's not that hungry. He wants a little girl and uh, none of that. This is not a breeding video and we don't want everyone to hate us. Okay. Okay, crazy. Let's show everyone your beautiful face. Aren't you cute? Oh, you're so cute. I love you. Oh no. That is like excited. His tail was shaking. They're too young. My goodness. Shame on you. That's their stepbrother, too. This is their dad. They're doing this, like, sassy kick thing. Get away from me. Hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. This is Caspian. He's a Murphy's Patternless. So my plan is to make Super Giants. And once I get Super Giants, then I'll breed Caspian in. Until then, Caspian's just gonna hang out. Some of them are a little different, so I kept them. Like this one over here. I find that this one is very tangerine, although you can't really see it. And then this one's like a really nice kind of like muted. I think it's a tuck snow. And then this one here is a, I think it's a tangerine albino, and the other ones are lighter albinos. So I don't know much, once again, about leopard gecko genetics. I mostly am just breeding them for size, so I breed them, I keep them for about a year, and then the biggest ones I keep and the other ones I sell to people as pets. Look who's home, who's home, it's my biggest fan. It's Mama Mama!
Hello, Mama Mama. Hello, Papa Papa. How was your day? It was okay. Not bad, Mom. It just would have been better if I was with you. I don't know about that. You missed me so much? Well, at least I call you unlike you. You don't call me. Yeah, I, you, you know, know you what? I you send you that. messages and video. What? How often what? do you send me videos and of you at work and what lot. are you doing? Never, okay? Because I'm working? Uh, well, I'm working too. This isn't work. This is important work. This is like, how am I supposed to ever sell a leopard gecko if they don't see them eating a thousand mealworms? I literally counted a thousand mealworms one by one. That's how dedicated I am to you people, so... You guys should definitely, hey, 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 no, none of that. You should definitely subscribe if you have it. Because the footage is riveting. Riveting. That's a mama. That's some of their moms. Her story is kind of interesting. So she actually got out in my old place, and my old place had some rats, so we had rat traps, and um, her arm got clamped in a rat trap, and my wife was going to feed her to my savannah monitor, because I was like out at like a festival, and um, she, I told her to wait till I got back. I was in New York, and basically, we kept her and her arm totally healed. I find it amazing how with geckos, with the snakes, with everything, like every single one is a little bit different. Their personality, their pattern. That's your mama! Hanging out with mama. That's the first time they've hung out together. This is another mama to some of them. Calm down. Um, I have to keep an eye on them. They could bite each other or hurt each other, so. Oh, come I on. I do. I have to supervise. Like, you don't know. We want them to all yes, keep their fingers. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> it's just like, I know. I know the day that the eggs are coming. Like, I know the moment that one of my geckos is laying eggs, but I'm just like, we're going to have eggs, bam, eggs. But when it comes to... Here, put that on it. It's not nice to just throw things at me. No, you tell that to your dog. I'm not a dog. I'm a human being. With feelings. You know, you got apples under here and it's probably raw under here for the next year. With feelings and sensitivities. And then there's paper underneath the table. Oh my goodness. Paper, paper under the table. Under the table. There's this coaster here. The world. There's my bra under there. The world is coming to an end. Why? She picked up your bra and she was like, boobies. This is the mother of probably most of them. She's a giant tremper albino. We lose a soul every day. We lost minds. We don't remember what's wrong and what's right. What's right. The world is dead, but we stay. Cause we are born as living fights We live to die We live to die And we're surrounded by the night We live to die 
these are my insane Pictus geckos, so I don't know if they cause any problems. You should just eat. Just eat. Crazy little guys. I'm telling you, he lit up. The Pictus geckos are cool. They like they get really like dark and bright really fast. He's happy now. He's so happy. Yeah, he's happy. You can tell he's happy. He makes me happy. Crazy girl. This girl is nuts. Don't bite the other geckos, okay? Okay. And I would never keep these geckos together, just you know, just feeding them here while watching. Close supervision, making sure everything's okay. We are in the neon. He was as dark as her. So hopefully she'll start eating and get happy too. She's bright now. Like you literally got to see her change colors. It's very interesting. I see the Pictus geckos going from dark to light all the time. Anyways, now the only geckos you haven't seen are my crested geckos, which I don't think will eat mealworms, but. Said I'd put all my geckos in the video, so we could try. Woo. This girl is so crazy.
thank God he didn't have a tail. Can I put that in the oven? Can you just see the sides are really nice and bright? Wonderful, wasn't it? Now make sure you click circle. Yeah, click the circle. Yeah, I did. And then watch this video or this one. No. Yeah. No. Yes, it's not that hard. Which one appeals to you more? Is it this one or is it this one?